My name is Reza Kahlili. I'm a former member of Iran's Revolutionary Guards, and I was a CIA operative during the 1980s and 90s. The images we are looking at are new and indicate that Iran has crossed every red line with regards to nuclear development. This is a secret underground site, larger than the sites of Natanz and Fardo combined. You are now seeing this site and its coordinates for the first time. The site is located approximately 15 miles to the northwest of the Fardo nuclear site, revealed to the public in 2009. This site includes three facilities. The first one being the Quartz Nuclear Enrichment Site, which is over 370 feet deep, built for 8,000 centrifuges. Here are two heavily fortified entrances into the mountain. The adjacent facility, named for Hezbollah terrorist Imad Mogniya, is a site for warhead and missile development. There are two entrances to this facility, one at the bottom, one into the belly of the mountain. All around the site are missile silos or garages for large ballistic missiles, such as the Shahab-3 long-range missiles. There are over 380 missile depots and missile silos at the site. All of the white dots in the images are missile depots and launchers. Here are silos or garages that are either for storing missile warheads or mobile vehicles that can come out to launch and then go back inside, so they can't be easily targeted. The number of missiles located in this site show Iran's defensive and offensive postures. This is obviously a military site, fitted with an airport. You can see that the site is powered by high-voltage electricity towers the type of power required for a nuclear enrichment facility. Surrounding the sites are barbed wire fences lined with security towers. The specifics passed by informants and sources indicate that Iran is near the final stages of building a nuclear bomb, and therefore they have crossed every red line by any standard.